What's up, TTW? New YouTube video. We're gonna get educated on some dirt. Are you ready for this shit? Hell yeah. Got my little handy dandy little notebook because there's a lot going on in this motherfucker. Live soil means a lot, a lot of things. But here's the main things. Live soil means macrobiology, microbiology, and usually there's mushrooms in there, which is both of those combined. In here, I have springtails, I have dwarf whites, and I have worms. As you can see through the sides of here, they have their own little tunnels going throughout here. Now, what they're doing is they're eating the decaying matter in here. I just retopped this with some new soil. Um, but they're eating decaying matter in here. I got leaves, cork bark, I throw old meal, dead mealworms in here and stuff, and they eat that up, and they eat that up, and they eat that up, and make frass. Frass, ooh, there's a worm right there. It's wiggling away. Frass is just insect poop, and that frass is very nutritional for your plants <clears throat> and your soil. The if we don't hone in on this, what's the point of having these fancy lights, all these fancy misters, all this crap, if your dirt's not alive, dude? Like, do you really- fucking gnats. Do you realize you can have all the special freaking lights in the world, all the crazy misters, this heat thing, this, that heat thing, but if your dirt's dog shit and not holding humidity properly, what's the point of that stuff? If your dirt's not holding nutrition, your plants aren't gonna survive. What's the point of your fancy $300 light? Nothing, because your soil's dog shit. With all that dead decaying stuff, that poop and all that, the heat that resides in here in the water, then that also will help out the mushroom spores that I love so much that resist, reside basically everywhere and anywhere in the world. It doesn't matter where you are, there's mushroom spores. It's just if you can get your soil good enough to sprout those spores and create the symbiotic relationship, you need to have that mycelium and then the fruiting body of the mycelium, which is a mushroom, to be created. The reason I want to promote mushroom growth and mycelium growth and I have the leaf compost and the mushroom compost in there is because mushrooms and mycelium, more importantly, have the symbiotic relationship with the roots of your plants, your trees, and all of everything else that resides in your dirt. What it can do for your plants is it can create a coating around the, the, uh, the roots, which will help from protect against any type of bac bad bacteria in certain insects and other things that are harmful to your plants and, <clears throat> and your trees and whatever you're growing in your soil. With that, they then can produce and take sugar. There's a symbiotic relationship, forget how it goes, with the plant to help that plant grow. And then the mycelium can give that plant nutrition so it can even do better than the ones surrounding it without that mycelium. That information. Anytime you see these little house mushrooms, these white frilled mushrooms and stuff like that, and your plant or your soil won't come from the garden store or after making a fresh batch of soil, usually your organic, organic soil brands, you're going to get a mushroom. And that's a good sign. That means your soil's kind of kicking in. It's doing what it's doing and it's living. It's alive. It's living its best life. Live soil is not something that's going to take a short amount of time. That frass bin of all the bugs that I have in there, it's two, almost two years old. I've been working on that for a while just so I can start doing it with my bigger stuff with something I'm working on secret on TTW. I mean, it's been on Facebook and it's been on TikTok, but I've been working on my own soil. As you can see, there's some like sprouts in here so the mealworms and stuff that I have can eat and have food. It's not going too crazy. I just threw another little uh, two cups of this, these Chinese container sized things of living soil I had in my uh, my bin over there. And I've been waiting and waiting. This is probably not gonna be with another couple months, but I'm gonna add more soil. I'm gonna get some worms, England, New England worms or Africanized worms. Ooh, you can actually see some right there. But I want bigger worms in here because it's just babies to get more frass. But then I can straight up just Put this in anything that I want. I want to be able to put it with my weed plants. I want to be able to put it with my tomato plants. I want to be able to put it with my freaking animals and not have to worry about anything because it's live active soil. This is TTW exclusive stuff that you're only going to see on the YouTube channel. So yes, eventually, hopefully sometime spring and summer, we'll have some TTW soil. I really like to get the moisture up, but it is, it is good. Look, I got some some snakeskin in there for some food. That's my dirt video, all right? 
I educated you. All right, this YouTube exclusive, probably going to be doing more stuff on YouTube because, well, Instagram wants to shadow ban me. And I mean, you know how TikTok is. They greedy $300 billion company. I'm out. Comment. Share it, please. Let me know your thoughts on some live show. Let me know your tips and tricks, what you do. You know what I'm saying? I'm young in the game. I'm trying to get better. and I'm trying to benefit the world. I'm out. Ah!